I can see right through you. We all can. We all can. You think you're fooling us, but it's obvious. Day in, day out, email chain after email chain, you're paying interest in your job, but we all know what's really on your mind. Oh, I bet you're at the office right now, avoiding your boss to watch this video. Yep. This is Anna Ortega. Her office is cooler than most. Depending on the day, it could be anywhere between the Red Desert in southern Wyoming and the Hoback Basin in the northwest corner of the state, a 150-mile radius that's home to the largest remaining mule deer migration in North America. Anne is a researcher for the University of Wyoming. She has her finger on the pulse of these deer like no one else. Her days are spent tracking their behavior so we can better understand and protect them, which is great. But just like everyone else's job, Anna has to shovel some scat every once in a while. Yeah, found some poop. It's nice and green on the inside. That's what we like to see. Oh yeah, cool. That's gross. She may like what she does, but at the end of the day, Anna turns to fly fishing to find her center, just like the rest of us working stiffs. This is Anna's Wyoming. She spent years exploring the back roads and backwoods in search of two things, the mule deer she studies on behalf of the University of Wyoming and trout, lots and lots of trout. The fishing and my summer field work are never separated. They're always right next to each other. And so I kind of always go back and forth between mule deer habitat and then thinking about the fish and fly fishing to them. Sometimes it's hard to shut it off when I'm fishing just because, you know, I'll be looking around, maybe I'll see some wildlife. And if I come across mule deer poop, I often am, you know, say, wow, that's a sweet poop. <laughs> Even though I don't need to collect it, it's awesome. <laughs> um, Whoa there, Anna. Let's get back to fishing. It's easy for Anna to find fish. The mule deer are getting hard pressed to find their summer ranges. Habitat fragmentation along with oil and gas development are tipping the scales in the wrong direction. Making Anna's research more important than ever to maintain the beautiful balance between big sky and big business. And so it's not always easy work. It's actually never easy work. It's so, um, it's really tough, but you know, I have this whole idea of conserving these places or helping us as a society to conserve wildlife and to ensure that future generations can enjoy and cherish them. And so I will endure picking up poop any day of my life. There's a road to take, one of fear, one of strength. Thank you. 